And we find ourselves at one of the most iconic venues in world football, the Santiago Bernabeu, here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary, and joining me is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And thoroughly looking forward to bringing you this World Cup qualifier. It's Spain versus Turkey. Thanks, Derek. I'm sure both coaches will want their players to start with a real zip in their play. Really show the opposition what they're in for. That could lead to fireworks. Let's hope so. This is how it looks for the home side. Carvajal plays with Gaia in the fullback positions. And the main striker for this match is Gerard Moreno. Good pressure high up the pitch. Now he must favour the cross. Excellent ball towards the front post. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. And the focus of attention is on Oyar Tabal, who can certainly make a difference. Lee, what do you think he might deliver? Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you. It has to be! And a goal right off the bat! No wonder they're jumping for joy! So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Chalanolu. Erdogan. He might be able to profit from the wide position. It looks promising. Very quick thinking there. Marco Asensio. Not an especially strong challenge. Might be a chance here. Can he finish? And the ball is loose. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Struggling to keep the ball. Asensio. The ball with Rodri. Now they're on the scent of something positive. Determined defending. And space here on the flank. An attack full of promise. The fault with the block. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Extremely sloppy in possession. Oyar Sabal. And here's Gerard Moreno. Not a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Chalar Zayunchu. Possession lost, intercepted. Marcos Llorente. And take it away. Kukchu. And the attack looks promising. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Well, that'll be a free kick. <laughs> and the save made following the free kick, and he was able to hang on to the ball. Mikel Marino. Here is Marco Asensio. He has time to play it over. Carvajal. And now Rodri. Can they get in behind them? Oya Sabal! Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. 
Asensio. And back with Moreno. And the first half is in the history book. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball, but to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Well, keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Marcos Llorente. Gerard Moreno. And tidily played. Now, let's see what they can do here. Rodri is protecting it well and able to close down the shots. Llorente, can they put it away? Well, able to survive that attacking push. Zeyuncu. Erdogan. It looks promising. It looks as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Rodri. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. Could cross it in here. And they've won possession again. Mehmed Zeki Celik. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Mikel Marino. How can he take them on and beat them? Careless in possession. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Erdogan. It should be! Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Mikel Marino. It's with Oyar Sabal. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Rodri. Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. Berat Eiberg Özdemir. Foul there. Free kick awarded. And the referee making it clear on a different day. It could have been a booking. And the save made following the free kick, and he was able to hang on to the ball. Just ten minutes to go. Well, just listen to the crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still time to grab an equaliser. Surely they'll get another chance or two. And the throw-in forthcoming. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And, and danger still! Well, threat averted. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. He's in with a chance. And you don't want to lose possession there. It's got to be. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. It's going their way. 2-0. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And so the referee blows for full time.
Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. It's Bayer Leverkusen. They take on Borussia Mönchengladbach and it's live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the city of Leverkusen. The venue for this game is the Bayer Arena. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action. And we're in position and ready to bring you live action from the German top flight, the Bundesliga. It's Bayer Leverkusen up against Borussia Mönchengladbach. And he takes it all! Straight forward for the keeper. And over promise on the flank. this on this occasion so for Borussia Mönchengladbach a very good victory in the last game against Hertha what's your pre-match assessment this time Lee? well it was easy enough last time out 2-0 away win not so sure they're going to win today though after hitting a draw tremendous block offside the decision join Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Bayern match. Alan? It's a goal for Hertha. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Alan, he's in behind. And it's there for him. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, here's the goal again. And it's a great ball to put him through. And then from there, the keeper had little chance. Two on one left completely exposed and it made for a simple finish in the end not a fantastic piece of defending was it takes the shot a big miss they should be two in front well that could be the game right there what an opportunity to go two up Olivier Boscalli Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off in his pot. Just to confirm, Hertha have scored in that match. And they now hold a 1-0 lead. Well, big news, a penalty has been awarded in one of the other games. Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. You wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely yellow card, Derek. Erdogan. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent chance. Lee, what are you expecting from him? Well, his form is sensational, Derek. He can't stop scoring. He's having so much fun out there. Consistent form, relentless hunger, a desire that goes beyond the norm. He's got that extra yard. He's a joy to watch. Simple catch, really. Jared Bowen. And a goal has been scored in the Leipzig game. Let's hear about that goal from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the home team. 29 minutes played. 1-1. Many thanks, Alan. Jared Bowen. Twitchiness following the high press and a throw coming up. Erdogan. And with the goalkeeper. to stop him and it's gone in just what the doctor ordered things looking very bright for them now with this buffer so 2-0 now Gladbach enjoying the bulk of possession here and all of their team are enjoying this performance that's why they're winning and that's why they're one of the best teams 
Well, a smart enough cross there, but no attacker able to touch it. Marcel Zabitza. So the referee brings the... Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Tom Davis. And he might be through here. Corner kick played in. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. Over it comes. Relentless high pressing. White. Oscar, it's with Pozuelo, Gerard Moreno, he's managed to lose his marker, and they need to get tighter, how about the cross, is it going to be, what a lovely strike, lethal piece of finishing, drilled hard with true conviction, tremendous goal, so there we have it, 2-1. There's been a goal at the Red Bull Arena. Alan McAnally can tell us about it. It's a second goal for the home team. 59 minutes played, 2-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Spot on with that tackle. Good defending to prevent the chance. And breaking at pace with Menace. Can they keep it going? And options in the centre. Well, the keeper very decisive. Applying vigorous pressure. Oh, great defending. Just a quick reminder, we've got Champions League group stage action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Bayer Leverkusen taking on Leicester City. Well, a super atmosphere of cup football rarely lets you down. Exciting game that will be, I'm sure, Derek. Can he put it away? And a goal! Oh, that's his brace! They just can't keep it quiet!
The job is partially done, through to the knockout stages, but they want top spot in the group. We'll have all the action here on EA TV. Hello everyone, great to be with you. Our action comes to you from the Borussia Park in Mönchengladbach. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. And we've got Europa League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It is Borussia Mönchengladbach facing FC Copenhagen. Thanks Derek, well with their place in the knockout stage is already confirmed. I'm sure they'll want to give the fans top spot in the group. Doesn't always mean you'll get the favourable draw though. Either way, I can't wait for this one Derek. Hudson Edouard. Edouard. An effective challenge. And here's how it looks for Borussia Mönchengladbach. The Swiss international, Jan Sommer, is the goalkeeper. Daniele Rugani starts with Yerai in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Well, far from the ideal pass. This looks promising. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? And he's given a corner, the referee. And firing it into the area. Excellent block. Oh, great block. Just can't get it past them. And they could face difficulties here. That's well blocked. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a goal for the visitors. 70 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McInerney. Oh, judgment error by the keeper. Clean challenge. Well, here's the good news for the home fans. Their favourites are already through to the knockout rounds, but they have the opportunity to secure a top spot in the group tonight, Lee. Well, I've never met a player who ever wants to finish second, and finishing top obviously gives you the advantage of an easier first-round knockout phase game, so they'll be looking for that. Attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. And space for the cross. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. Wabi Kazri. Wabi Kazari. Now can they make something happen? Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Good looking move, this. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Offside the decision. Well, we had to interrupt Alan McAnally just then. Apologies for that. To confirm, the visitors did find the net in that game, and their lead stands at 1-0 presently. No space for them here. Can he put them in front? And still danger here. And able to get a body in the way.
that challenge. Falk. That's a lovely ball. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. Erdogan. Tom Davis. Oh, great vision. Able to clear the danger. At least for now. And clear behind for what is going to be a corner kick. Well, a chance to take the lead. It really is. The crowd sends a goal. Jared Bowen. Erdogan. Running with the ball. Confident. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And over comes the corner. Well, look at those stats, Derek. The host dominating possession over the last 15 minutes. They have set the tempo. They've used their possession to create chances. They just need the icing on the cake now. This looks promising. Erdogan. Teammates to play it to. They're moving the ball impressively here. To cross into the center. Now, oh, keeper in control and firing it into the area. Can he do it? And a goal! Now they've broken through. One nil here. Well, what a time to score! The forwards are in absolute dreamland. The defenders slugging their way back to the half-time team talk. They're not going to enjoy this. Well, half-time it is. And no surprise at all to see that they're currently in line to grab... And so the second half is underway in this Europa League group stage confrontation. Well, the defending needed to be a bit more switched on than that. Surely! And a goal! Play and it's a decent move to evade the defender and then through on goal you never really had any doubt he was going to slot that away good finish so 2-0 now have they given him too much space poor attempt at a pass really bodies forward Thank you. 
and the break looks on. Tom Davis. Glad back enjoying the bulk of possession here. Really starting to dictate the tempo of this game now. And they're creating chances as well. I'm not sure their opponents seem to have the answer, to be honest. They can't seem to get a foothold in this game. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. This might be ideal for the counter. More live Bundesliga action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Borussia Mönchengladbach taking on Hamburg. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. And they like to run at them. And it's Tom Davis. Was that inches away? Our cameras on one man in a rich vein of form and number one in the scoring charts. Can he do it again today, live on EA TV? We're at the Borussia Park in the city of Mönchengladbach, not too far from Germany's border with the Netherlands. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Borussia Mönchengladbach and they face Hamburg. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. Players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait.
Erdogan. An incisive pass. Just couldn't capitalise there. And news of a goal in the Schalke match. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a goal for Schalke. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers again, Alan. Erdogan. Tony Villa. Pedrosa. Quick ball to perhaps catch them out. Now oh, the pass not finding its target. Now do they mean business on this occasion? Perfect challenge. And he read it well. Pedrosa. Erdogan. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Bakary Yatta. will be a free kick. But it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Odson Edouard. A deft clearance. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment. Gomez an attack full of promise in position and a penalty awarded spot kick coming up well a judgment call for the referee many an official would have cautioned him denied by the bar back in play here and being pressed here Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Trossard. It might be on for them. He's in with a chance. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. So, 2-0 now. In terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Gorosabel. Tony Villa. And there it is, the half-time whistle. No doubt about it. They hope. Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Glad back enjoying the bulk of possession here. It's important to have strong, dominant players in your midfield, and they've got that. Just look at what that control gives you. It should be. And he's only come on and made it a hat trick. Well, when he's in this sort of mood, he's absolutely unstoppable.
Our cameras on one man, a hat trick in his last game. Can he continue that red hot form? Stay with us on EA TV. A rainy night in München Gladbach. We're at the Borussia Park here in Western Germany. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And we have action to bring you from the DFB Pokal, the round of 16 tie just moments away. It is Borussia München Gladbach up against Bayern Munich. Well, cheers, Derek. These home fans are going to enjoy this. They surely must. With the team coming as big as this to your club, make sure you don't let yourselves down. Don't let those fans down. Don't let your families down. Really, really give it everything you've got. Terrific block there. But he's gone short with it. Shot attempted. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper and here's how it looks for Borussia Mönchengladbach the Swiss international Jan Sommer is the goalkeeper Yerai plays with Danieli Rugani in central defence can he put them in front? yes is the emphatic answer and you have to say it was on the cards the opening goal of the game then Difficult to stop him. This could square the game. But the keeper. Oh, and he puts away in the second chance. Goalkeeper error. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Cross it in here. Shown inside. Just couldn't get it through. I'm pressing really high. Well, with your opponents bearing down on you, no wonder you want to just get rid of the ball. Effective challenge. The free kick decision going the way of Bayern. Well, no card, but the referee clearly indicating that he's on his last warning. Thomas Müller. Disappointing control, and they've lost the ball. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, that was all down to the pressure applied, and a throw forthcoming. Can he give them the lead? It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that! Bayern restart the game and that should certainly shake them up a bit ball lost by Bayern Rugani and the ball with Yerai well they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half danger here as he runs at them really good block well the perfect tackle really and now a throw in it did appear that they might be onto something but not so good work to win it back high up the pitch tremendous block Chance here. And it's 
two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, and I must say, it's always a great privilege to be in this city, one that's known for its joie de vivre, Cologne. I'm Derek Ray, with me for commentary is Lee Dixon, and we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It is Köln up against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Yeah, thank you, Derek. I'm really looking forward to this. Both teams certainly capable of producing some entertaining football. Hopefully we'll get that. And the perfect position to read it. Disappointing pass. Now can they make something happen? And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Played into the centre of the box. Who's Jan? to beat your opponent, couldn't keep it. And attempting the through ball. Fruitful looking attack. Looking for the angle. Will he find the net? And he couldn't take advantage of that opportunity from close range, Lee. How close does he want to be to score? He's gone for power and fluffed his lines. Well, they never seem to be bothered by playing away from home. It's no surprise to have a look at the record, and it's stellar. Well, seven wins in seven constitutes the best away record there is, and this team have really mastered the art of going into the Lions' den and pinching the points and getting out of there. Brilliant stuff. It's a good-looking ball in behind. long-range shot. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, a long-range effort, but into the 
the goalkeeper's midriff. Yeah, the hardest thing is picking the flight up. Once he's done that, it's pretty simple. I understand there's been a goal in the Hamburg match, Alan McAvaney. It's a goal for Hamburg. Must take the lead here. Oh, a goal! They strike first, and what a way to silence the crowd. The opening goal of the game, then. Well, we had to interrupt Alan McAdally in full flow there. Apologies for that. Just to confirm, Hamburg did score in that game. And it's level now at one goal apiece. And a throw-in it's going to be. Almada. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Oh, he's given the ball away illegal play and hence a free kick he's been admonished by the referee he's now got to walk something of a tightrope yeah he knows exactly where he stands look at the referee how he's told him off there no yellow card but certainly knows what the referee's thinking Fabricio Bustos not the best challenge free kick and deep into the penalty area Still not clear. Oh, is he going to be punished here? An attack full of promise. He cuts it back. Oh, trailing here, but a corner it is. And now the delivery. Well, he couldn't get the header on the target, but you've got to give credit to the defending. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball, but to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Good technique displayed. Oh, surely, 